Hi, you guys. It's Ginger Cook here with Acrylic Painting Monday. Uh, I know you've been waiting all week for another chance to do something really fun and exciting in acrylic paints, maybe learn some new tips and tricks, and um, hang out with us for an hour or so. And um, one of the things I love about Monday is I get to answer your questions. And even when we're doing a premiere, which means that John and I are either not able to do a, a, a live broadcast on Monday, but maybe we're either traveling or... For some reason, we needed we we just can't do it. Um, premieres are, are are really terrific, and hopefully, I'll be there typing in the questions right along with you. Now, this uh, fall, we've um, it, I'm not sure when this premiere is going to uh, yeah. be but air, but uh, this fall um, in November and December, we'll be in Australia and cruising in Australia and. Uh, I thought it would be really fun to paint an, uh, an ocean scene with a sunset. Uh, it's, you know, in December, it's kind of summer there in Australia, even though it's winter in the States. So we're going to kind of alternate between the kind of warm, snowy stuff and the, and the, fall, uh, the Christmas the stuff. The warm, snowy stuff. Oh, yeah, there's no such thing. It's not warm <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay. We're going to alternate between the snowy stuff and the warm stuff. Okay. I and like the warm, is, snowy stuff. Put me down for that. <laughs> <laughs> so and also we want to thank our mods for joining us uh i have no idea it, it, this will always air at 5 30 on mondays but uh, it could be like two in the morning for us who knows if if you don't see me typing it may just uh oh they're in the wee or wee hours of the morning we're, we're going to be up early for you oh you know, John's just going. John doesn't even get up this early if it's in a for area show. But we're soldiering on. We we spent we spent over four months uh, creating uh, videos for our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting for when we were gone, and for YouTube uh, premieres so that you would you would be up with the latest and the mostest and have the mostest fun. So let's. Let's not talk anymore about that. Yeah, let's, let's not get... talk anymore. It's going to be a silent show from uh, yeah, here on the, out. Well, we're not going to discuss that. We're <laughs> going to get right down to it. I have an 8 by 10 canvas. I have a reference photo that I thought was kind of pretty. And it's got some sunset, uh, some water. It's and... got some sunset? Yeah, it's got some sunset. <laughs> As opposed to lots of sunset. <laughs> <laughs> it goes well with that warm winter. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> No. warm. And for those of you who are sitting, you know, knee deep in snow, we're then, sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> we're, we actually brought bathing suits with us, thinking we might actually step out into the into the ocean, into the ocean, maybe, and look around. Not, not, not. I'm not saying we did that, but if you want to know what we're actually doing, be sure to read our YouTube Gazette every day, because. Well, you would read it every day because we're only putting it out once a week. But when you read our YouTube Gazette, John and I are going to have a special section on where in the world is Waldo, except where in the world is Ginger and John, and maybe a photograph a little bit about what we're doing, something. So you can kind of, we'll take you along with us every week, tell you what we're doing, give you the highlight of the week. How's that? Highlight yeah. of the week. I yeah. like that. If, yeah. And if I get really, really bored, bored. <laughs> if I get really bored, if I had too much time on my hands, ho hum, what to do when one's cruising, there may be some other surprises showing up. So just, uh, you, know, you just never know. You never know. Check North, our Facebook club, and make sure you're a member of that. Acrylic Painting with Ginger Cook on Facebook. Easy enough to do, and then uh, as we as we move on, see, I've been painting all day. I've been doing a bunch of these premieres, so we're this is the second one I'm doing today, and I think but I think we're good. Yes, um, I've got some palette paint out here, um, but I'll show you the colors. We've got if you are familiar with our color mixing journal, surely I've been talking about this for. Well, Shirley and I haven't, but surely we have been talking about this all for months. Oh, yeah, Shirley was over the other days in the very front page. Very, very, very front. Very, yeah. very. Yeah, so oh. these are, this is our color mixing journal, which we certainly hope that you are uh, the cognizant of and have actually done one. And if it's close to holidays, you might want to give yourself the videos for Christmas and make one if you can't con anybody else into giving you the videos. Because, you know, Academy members, of course, always get a discount for these downloadable lessons that turn into a color mixing journal. So now we're going to be using for the sunset, you can kind of see we're going to need some cad orange, cadmium orange. We're going to need some cad yellow, cad yellow light. 
um, probably burnt sienna, thalo blue, thalo green, yellow oxide, burnt umber, and magenta. Those are those that's are going to be the colors. Piece of cake. So that should be probably say, what colors do you use? Well, these are the colors we use all the time. And if you have those colors on hand, you should be able to do it. Now, what about this background? Well, John, we had some leftover paint, I don't know, probably months ago, and John painted it this orange, and I said, can, he said, can you make that work? And I said, I can make anything work, John. I would, um, I, I think you, a lot. What would you have preferred? Well, if I was just starting over and, you know, just doing it, I think that, um, you get the most glow if you have a yellow background on a sunset and then do the other colors. You get kind of this glow between. He did have a gold uh, canvas ready for me, which would have given me the glow, but they're a little bit harder to paint on, and I just didn't want to fool with it. Didn't want so, to fight it today. So if we're talking about um, line this up right here, this is where my uh, our horizon line is. You uh, need your T-square. I'm going to still do that. Horizon lines are where the sky meets the ocean and or the earth if there are no mountains, all right? And then if you look at the kind of this is like the middle of the canvas right here. So somewhere that's the middle. So somewhere about here we're going to have some mountains, but we don't want to put those in yet. We want to put our background in. And then about down about this far and up about, say, three fingers, we're going to we're going to have our beach that sort of does this, like that, okay? And then um, our wave is going to come in kind of this way, like that, like a triangle, like that. Do you see that? It's going to come in like that, and this will be the, um, the horizon line, and up here will be the sky. So just how simple was that? You go, oh, my gosh, that's so simple. I can't believe it. Uh, yes, for those of you who asked that question, what kind of pencil is this? John? It's a Conti, right? Yeah, it's a Conti. Think these are Conti white charcoal, uh, white charcoal, which means you can erase them, which is nice. Okay, so um, we're going to start with our lightest colors. Uh, one thing we know for sure we're going to want is um, this light yellow color. So that means I'm going to need white paint right about here, because that's got to be kind of yellow. And yellow only paints over white, okay? So as long as I'm doing that, I'll just do that and then just take a second and dry it, okay? Yes and yes, I mean, that's easy. So you're going, gosh, Ginger, I had no idea what that wow. I know. Look at that, so we're gonna do that, right? That's perfect. Let's try. Now, would you put on another coat as well? Uh, another coat of yeah, of white. white. No, I'm gonna because I don't want it quite that blaring. I'm gonna go ahead and put another bit of uh, cad yellow light out, and just dip my brush in that and say, "Here we go." Here's gonna be the that's our cad yellow light, like that. It's pretty nice and bright. Yep. Yeah, somebody says, well, why couldn't I just add white to cad yellow medium? You could. You will not get the same color. A cad yellow light is one of those colors you almost need to, well, you don't almost, you absolutely do need to own. It won't and, be as brilliant. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that cad yellow light and just, um, and then put that under here, too. And um, under this, under our beach. It's just, okay, I'm just going to, as long as I've got it, even though I'm going to go over it, with something else. I'm going to go ahead, and if I have that color, that clear, because I know I don't want it as pronounced in the ocean as I have it up there on the, um, in the sky. Generally, your reflections are not quite as, as bright, um, and in uh, the water as they would be in the sky. So we're to kind of toning that down. Now, this would be a, um, you could say, well, I could dry it, but I think in this case, I want that white to sort of blend in a little bit more. So I'm going to take some, um, I've got a couple of mixing palettes here. I'm going to take some white paint, a little cad cadmium orange, okay? And I want to come up here like this come across my sky like this and uh, all the way across 
Now, when I get to this part, this is the good stuff. You go, was not good before? I'm like, yeah, well. Okay. Hey, did we say hi to our Maja? Did I get so absorbed in this? You, you, yeah, you jump right into the sunset. Well, hi, Mods, and you guys, and thanks yeah, for thanks coming. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. All right, I want to come around here, the edges of this. I um, really couldn't do it without you. No, we really couldn't. And, um, uh, Let's just let's see how now I've got those. Now what I want to do is wet the brush and I want to just sort of smudge that in there. Ooh, technical talk. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of yellow on top of that. Just want to kind of smudge in those those edges. So if I do a little bit of yellow and cad, cad red medium now here, while this is all still kind of wet, cad red medium and cad, cadmium orange is another good one. I'm going to come up here like this while this is still wet and come across here and create these colors. Now, try not to do this all in like a... Uh, how do I want to put this? Uh, just blocks of paint, like a patchwork quilt. You try to kind of melt one edge of the clouds into the other. You want to blend them a bit. Blend them a little bit. No so hard like, lines. For instance, here's some white now. And I'm going to come up here and using the brush, kind of create some of these clouds like that. Because I've got paint on the edge. If I bend the brush, I put a little paint on the brush, okay, and then I bend it. I drop the bottom part of this and not the top part. Try to practice that on something. We, we do that a lot in sky pictures. Okay, so we're saying there's some clouds. And then here's a little cad yellow medium. I'm going to put some of that there. That's a little bit brighter yellow, but mixed with the orange it won't be. So all these colors we're just mixing in here. Okay, now as we get down to the the sunset, I'm going to just, um, again, just kind of lay this out a little, little bit of water on the brush here. And I want to come back and forth like this and uh, not talk about the bottom part of this that much. Um, it's going to have just a little bit of uh, magenta and white in it and a little bit of ultramarine blue down in here. Kind of that purple color. Here we go. Just adding a little bit of that. Now, purple and yellow kind of make a brown, so you have to be kind of careful if you don't want that effect. Um, I do in this case. Okay. I want that, okay. But now, for my clouds, I don't. I don't want to go over pur purple over a wet kind of peach because I'll just I'll end up with kind of muddy clouds. So I, now this is where you have to dry it. Okay. So I think there's a feeling that when you paint a picture like this, it has to be complicated. But what you have to know how to do is blend a little bit. So some ultramarine blue and some magenta, okay? Um, maybe a little zinc white. There's some nice clouds that we got. We know from the picture we've got some clouds coming up in here like that. I've got something coming down over here. Take a little zinc white and say that this is going to be some clouds in here. And I can make them a little darker if I want. Kind of zigzag these up here. But as they come on down, at some point as they come on down, I want them to sort of not say that much. So now the trick is, uh, what if I just did this? And this maybe got some of that orange and white. Oh, now this is tricky. And tapped it on top of there and kind of grayed that cloud out a bit. So it wasn't so bright. 
you have to be very careful because you can get mud really fast. But I'm going to say I've got some white. You don't want mud in the, in the clouds. No, I got, see, that's, I don't have enough white there. So that's a that's a little bit of a trick to do that and not muddy up your clouds too much because you want that to kind of the light to come through there. Maybe some of this orange. See, I want that cadmium orange color. Right, like that. Coming this way. So we need any of that color up in here just a little bit. Maybe up in here. Okay. So there doesn't have to be a lot to this, but um, see here's some white paint. Uh, don't be afraid to have some lighter spots, okay, where the clouds are sort of breaking up everything. Then this just all smooths down into this. And that's, uh, and I'm not, not trying to make this difficult. Because you're going to sit there and say, I don't know what she did. But what I'm doing is I'm sort of blending all these colors together. This is a good one to, this is probably a little more advanced. It's probably not a beginner cloud tutorial. It's got to be okay too, right? Uh, you can still watch it and practice. Um, it was a goal to go for. Yeah, it's a goal to go for. You know, you can still watch it and practice. You really have to learn to blend. Blending is key. Yeah, just sort of, yeah, just sort of layer and blend, right? Because that's uh, that that makes a difference, and um, and knowing when to gosh, knowing when to dry, you know, what I'm saying like like for instance, I know that I want some cad yellow light, cadmium orange. I want something a bit brighter up here, right, or something a bit brighter up here. Well, that uh, translate here. Barely touching this now, right? Okay. So th that's a, a fun way to do a, a sunset. And um, I want to just do a little bit now, take a little bit of that kind of orange color and go over the beach a little bit, which is a little bit of orange and white. Kind of over a little bit of this yellow, but let some of that yellow show through. It's there, but we're not talking about it that much. There we go. That's where our beach is, okay? Now, while that's drying, okay, so this can be drying. This can be drying. When that's drying, you can, um, let's see, I want to make sure that I've got it light enough at the horizon line here. Remember, it's always lighter at the horizon line. That's where the, your, remember, your ocean meets. And so let's make sure it's light enough down here, almost a, what would you call this color, John? Peachy. Oh, that's it, peachy. Peachy. Right? Peachy. And uh, okay, I'm just playing with the sky a little bit. This has had a chance to dry. Okay. So that's a kind of a pretty sky. I like that. Let's just bring that peachy color up here. There we go. All right. So now I will take some burnt sienna, which we did not put out. So I didn't think we'd need it. Well, hooey, I don't want to fool with it. I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to take some yellow oxide and cad red medium. Maybe just yellow oxide here. And um, put that down on my beach here like that. Over that orange. There we go. Okay, so we got a beach, yeah. And um, do we feel like we have a sky? Do you feel like the, our sky is bright enough? I don't it seems know. to be. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, because... You don't have any contrasting color yet. You don't have your mountain, your silhouette yeah. mountain to really make Tell it pop it's up. Bright enough, but there you go. Uh, that cadmium orange is just the ticket for brighter stuff. All right, let's dry everything, and then we'll put in our mountains.
I would tell you, so I'm going to tell you. Not so quickly there, boss. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to ex 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 share with you the idea that um, uh, you might want to um, um, use a stay wet palette. Um, well, that's all we've been using lately. It's really helped us. With the work schedule for one, but yeah, it really saves money on paint and uh, ultramarine blue and uh, burnt umber. Make sure that you've got some jaggedy cliffs here. Make sure, just don't put a triangle up there. Even if that's all there was in the photo. Okay, so these are our... This is our, 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 our skyline here. And what do we know for sure? Well, we know we have one of these right up here. Something pretty dark. Right up here. Uh, kind of a, a rock here, too. So we'll just put those in. Okay? So far, so good? Yes and yes? Well, you know, you've really got a... Now, it isn't in the photo, but I always like when I'm doing mountains like this. Well, you got to make just, them your mountains. It's just, just, just a little trick here, but. Just give it a little, give them a little something. Give them a little okay. dimension. Yeah. All right. And yeah, let's try that. All right, so it's time to put in the water. And we've got some white paint and a little bit of phthalo blue with a little purple in it. And let's just come across here like this. Start there and see what we got. Okay, so that's something. We could do a little of that. How about some white paint with uh, phthalo blue over here? And do a little bit of that, okay? Wipe the excess paint off. So just as you blend this in, and you're going to come along here like this. And you're going to go across the water. You're not going to go that far. You're just going to come this way. And uh, let's take a little bit of unbleached titanium now. Just uh, lighten up the water here in the front. A little bit of phthalo green in that now. Just a touch, because phthalo green and white makes a beautiful watercolor. Just roll and lift up. Oh, that color, that yellow has to be dry for this to work. Is that purple coming this way? Okay, we're open to a little bit of artistic interpretation for this. Absolutely. You know, we got we got to have a little bit of leeway here. All right, now as I have that coming here, I want to come on my beach. And um, I 
Let's take a little bit of phthalo green in this color now, make it a little bit darker under here. Ooh, that looks like I've got a little purple there. Oh, that's a, what Bob Ross would call a happy accident. I think it was intentional. It's a pretty color, so yeah. Now I'm going to dry all that. Okay. So let's take a little bit of the cadmium um, orange back here and get our brushes clean. Kind of drag it over the bit of this yellow. Hey, if you were thinking about subscribing, now's the time to do it. Cost you oh, nothing. Good. Press that little subscribe button down there and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime we post anything on the site. And we appreciate it. Cost you nothing. And well, it that's a nice out. thing. It's a nice way of saying you appreciate what we're doing. You know, um, just a nice thing to do, and we appreciate it. Yeah, a little bit of lighter white right up in here. Kind of lightening up the beach a little bit now. Let's see what I'm doing here. Lightening this up, just holding the brush kind of flat, putting the paint just on one side of the brush. A lot of people dip in like this. I, I kind of pull it, pull it on the brush. We want that. So there's our um, kind of our, our little glowing bit of sunlight in the sand. It's cad yellow light again on top, second layer. So that's where our, all of that's going to happen. Um, I know I want a little bit of that right here next to this rock. And I want some of those colors in here around where my water is going to come. Okay. Now, that's kind of fun, right? Let's see. Okay. There we go. That, now we got it light around those guys. Okay. Now we got to, before we do anything else, it's so funny, we got to dry it. If you're not drying enough, um, ask yourself, you know, what is it about uh, my paint? Uh, how do you know if you're drying enough? Because if your paints are starting to get muddy, you're doing too many layers and everything gets muddy. You're not drawing between the layers enough. All right. So a little bit of the stalo green color, which is very pretty, very nice with, with, um, uh, with phthalo blue. We want to come across, uh, even in oranges, make sure that you've got that rinsed off your brush. Yeah, it looks like phthalo green you're running right now. Yeah, a little phthalo green here. Just doing a few little broad strokes coming this way. And uh, coming this way. And I know that, for instance, around my 
uh, rocks here. I've got sort of a dark edge. I'm going to put that edge there. And uh, let's see if we can't darken our rocks up a bit more. This should be the next color on those. Didn't get those dark enough. It kind of balances out these others. So what happens is the tide's coming in and swirling around these rocks and going back. That's what's going on here. Let's just level this off again. Okay, so that's what we said is happening. So, and we've got some... Let's get a little light color here on this rock. Okay. Here's some phthalo green. Coming around this way. This only works if you have dried everything before you went over everything. You've got to have dried everything before you get too carried away. I'm gonna put some of this lighter color in here. Like that. Okay, and then we're layering some greens, right? Now the big thing is this wave coming over here, but we still need um, a little bit of this light here, a little bit of white. Um, We're going to have some water coming this way. This is where the phthalo green is so nice. Because it really is, a phthalo green is really almost a misnomer. It's almost a, um, it really is more like a, um, um, A, a turquoise to me. I don't know what you call it, jewel tone turquoise. Well, aren't there aren't there different varieties of phthalo green? Well, no, it used to just be phthalo green, and then people got excited and started doing weird stuff with it. Isn't there a what a blue shade and a yellow shade? Yeah, there's a blue and a yellow shade now from golden, but I mean, I never ever bought those colors before. See what I'm happening. So look how pretty this is looking now, you guys. And you're going, gosh, how did that happen? I don't know. Just um, um, some darker blue coming in here like that. This sort of blue. Let me get out some more green. Halo green. It's, it's, it's just sort of, it's almost, a, right now it almost feels like an abstract ocean. You know? In a mm, sense, no, I think it's pretty good. But um, you want to have um, so yeah, it's it's, it's pretty colors, right? Uh, and Very that's much so. huh. Very much so. They're just, uh, I was really attracted to that photograph. I just, just really liked how they came up with uh, the idea of this 
these colors in the water. Just barely touching this down, just putting a little of this back there. You know, um, the, um, the, there's going to be a certain amount of shadow because of these rocks here. Very effective. Yeah, isn't it? And so we've got that, and then we've got you sort of break that up a little bit so it's just not a straight line like that. So, okay, so now what I want to do. This is fun. I got. You know, I don't know when I. One thing about a premiere is I. I really. I, I'm. I'm not too um, distracted by questions. So then you really start to see. I mean, you can try to answer the questions right there live with you. Yeah, and I'm. I'm answering them as we 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 speak. So don't feel like you're being ignored. You know, we're just. I'm typing them in. And she uses all caps and misspells. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm really typing is not like my best skill. You know, no kidding. No. No kidding, Sherlock. You know, just see what we're doing. So it's a little bit of white around that rock. A little bit of foam. And a little bit of, yeah, this little, little foam, foam stuff action. that's coming, coming this way now. See how I can put the paint on the bottom of the on the heel of the brush, and then I can come around and I can drop it on this. Now, what I didn't want to do because this is kind of hard to do because it's so small. What I didn't want to do is lose my orange. Sand. So you're putting it back. Yeah, the little holes of orange that kind of it's circuit, you know, see how it's sort of circulating around that, kind of swirling around. And I dip the white in there like this. Are we keeping it kind of level? Do that. Just, just take the brush and put it and bend it, and then deposit these. Little bits of light color here. All right. So around the box, and I, I, I kind of, I'm liking this enough where I don't want to change it too much. I think that's pretty. I don't want to lose any of that, but we can have some of this. Um, Here's a little bit of our beach color. So the trick is when you uh, when you're doing this is you're, um, there's always a dark edge under the foam, but you can put it in wider and then come back and um, skinny it up. See like that? There's this dark edge around the foam. You can just darken that up there. See that it's really it just looks really 3D, doesn't it? It's sort of cool looking, right? Just that, that's a trick. So you put the dark edge wider and then come up with the beach color. So you barely see that little edge of foam. And uh, yeah, like that. Okay. So now what we want to do 
Okay, so I probably will want a little bit more yellow right in here. This is cad yellow light color. A few little drops, just a few little something right here. Right there, okay. And I think I want a little bit of this brown back here. Okay, so we got that, right? And um, let's see, we want a little bit of the speech color here. Something coming back that way, break that line up. Now we still have to do the wave. We're going to do the top of the wave, and that's going to be the last thing I'm doing. So it's going to holding off doing that for a little bit because we've got to have this wave come over here. And I want to make sure I have everything that I want done that way. So here's my white and um, kind of peach, kind of, see, way too much water on the brush. Well, you rinse that brush off and you really know it, okay? Here we go. I want some of that right in there like that. Into the, into the beach, yes? Like that? Yeah. Just picking that up from the sky above. Yeah, picking that up, right? See so, inside. Yeah, so now those um I mean, let's see, make sure we have something light enough here above above the wave. Barely touching it now. Okay. This is where layering comes in, right? All right, now what I want to do is bring that wave over with a larger brush. And I'm going to just. Do you take, need to dry what you just laid down there? Yeah, let's just dry everything. All right, so it's wave time. Yeah. Okay, so we want to, we're going to pull our phthalo green, also blue, a little bit of white. Try to mix the colors all at once. All right. Cool color. All right, now there's our, now let's take our white, barely touch it. Barely touch it. Okay, if you overdo it, then you'll have to repaint it again because you'll lose all this, this translucency. So what you don't want to do is overpaint it. Want that dark underneath. And the contrast between the lights and the darks. So that is uh, we're going to dry that and just do the last little bit and we should be not done. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the zinc white. 
cap it up here like this. There you go, because I've dried it, so I have a little bit more leeway, right? And I want to have a little bit, I want to dry that because I want that to just, well, I can still do that. I want that dark edge in here. That dark green. And not a lot of times you might have put the sun coming through the wave. I didn't want to, we didn't do that this time. We just, um. You have to probably have a bigger painting, a bigger wave. And... But, um, but we did, what we did do is, um, um, we got these nifty rocks in front where they show up because we have light by them. Yeah. And we've got some very nice um, splash areas going in here. Okay. There we go. And I think we're a little purple up in here. So we're going to lighten that up just a bit. Um, just lighten this up just a bit here. You couldn't do that if the purple were still wet. That's fun, isn't it, John? Yeah. Good looking, good looking sunset. Um, now this is a painting that I would do larger. Now that I've had a chance to to do it small, and that's the trick. You kind of work out the the bugs, so to speak. You know, in your paintings, or when they're little. And then, when you do them larger, they have impact, and you don't keep kind of overpaint them. Because so some some of you have sent me paintings you've you've got probably a thousand layers of paint on because you keep painting it over and over again, which is fine, right? But um, see how I'm putting that light right by here a little bit in that sand and um, I'm going to go a little bit further here behind this uh, mountain too I just need a little bit more of that yellow somewhere and I think I need a little bit of that cadmium orange man you cannot beat this color uh, it is just absolutely great Because it really uh, 
it really shows up nicely. And then I'm seeing, John, I don't know if you are, if you look at that, there's like these little dots in this. Or little, little sparkles of white. Little sparkles of whiter, mm -hmm. something. I don't want to overdo the sunset. I just sometimes simple is best. Just. I would say that um, I quite like our our wave and our sandy beach and our rocks. Um, so you have a bird or a uh, sailboat I think, or maybe I think, a craft on the beach. Of course always I am. Right? Why is it always a bird? I don't know. I'm just thinking a bird. What ever happened to tractors on the beach? I don't know what happened to them. But you know, um There we go. That's our little oh, don't you love that part? I love this, all this foamy stuff around here. Just, you just feel like it just happened, don't you? <laughs> How fun is that? Yes and yes. Looking fine. And, you know, when you look at this, what we've done here, I don't know where our picture went. We keep burying things. Where'd our photograph go? What did we so we started? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. So how much more interesting? Mm -hmm. Oops, you just lost my picture. Hold on a second. I locked myself out. Mm -hmm. I wanted to back out. Okay. How see. much more interesting? Well, the painting is far more interesting than the picture. Yeah, now let's give this rock so it just doesn't look like a little pyramid. Let's give it a bit another shape. <laughs> there, just, just couldn't have it... Um, Sometimes it doesn't hurt to have a, um, remember they're just kind of buried in the sand, these rocks, yeah. And I'm, I'll tell you what, John, this is, a, this is really fun. It, it's a little bit, it has almost a feeling of one of those Hawaiian artists. Let's say I always do these bright colors. Yeah. Need some white with that. Okay, a little bit of thalo green right here. There we go. Okay, so gosh, you guys, um, if you like painting oceans, we have a super wave and water master class in our um, academy. Ooh, excellent choice of frame colors. And I um, want you to see... Um, 
Yeah, I think I think that that's really kind of nice. The only thing I might do differently, if um, is um, maybe a little bit more on the clouds up here. Something like that, but uh, um, I feel like we really got it. Put some of this purple down here since we had it in the clouds. Yeah. There. Um, I think that's a really kind of a fun thing. I think it's a fun wave. The waves change all the time. If your waves looks a little differently than mine, why? Perhaps it, uh, It'd be it, all right. it broke it's... up a little, it broke a little differently. So uh, if you if you if you like uh, to paint, want to learn how to really how to paint water in a lot of different ways. It's true we have several. Uh, look, we have a playlist on YouTube with with our uh, water uh, tutorials, uh, but also we've got some great looking, um, long in depth lessons on painting water and so forth that I think you might really enjoy. Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting with Ginger Cook, and I'd love to. Uh, to see you over at the academy trying some of this stuff. All right, guys. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks, our mods, and um, and to be sure to subscribe to the channel. And we want to thank our mods immensely for um, another fine thing. evening. I see another little thing I want to do here, but always one more thing. Well, I want to separate the top of this wave from the back of it. The water there. Okay. That makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, there you have it. Uh, so, so sunset. Sunset on the beach. On the beach. Bye. Bye. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.